So you're eagerly waiting for the iPhone 16 Pro launch, right? Apple's latest Marvel, full of promises and new features. But what if I told you there's a smarter choice, something that could save you money and still give you nearly everything the 16 Pro offers? Before you rush to pre-order, let's explore why the newest isn't always the best and how you could be making a way more savvy decision by looking at a different Apple product. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you found this video informative and, and leave a comment below. We love hearing from you. All right, let's talk about the iPhone 16 Pro. It's set to be Apple's big leap into the world of generative AI. Sounds revolutionary, doesn't it? But here's where things start to get a bit cloudy. While Apple is hyping up their new AI features, these aren't coming right out of the gate. In fact, the full suite of Apple intelligence won't even be fully functional until months after the iPhone 16 Pro hits the market. That's right. If you're expecting to unbox the iPhone 16 Pro and dive straight into the future of AI, you might be disappointed. Now, here's where things get interesting for those of you who are a bit more strategic with your tech purchases. Let's rewind to last year's iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. These phones are already equipped with the A17 Pro Apple silicon chipset, the same powerhouse that will drive the AI in the iPhone 16 Pro. This means you can run Apple's upcoming AI software on the 15 Pro. No need to drop cash on the newest model. Isn't that a game changer? But wait, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You might be thinking, sure, but the iPhone 16 Pro must have some killer new hardware, right? Well, let's break that down. One of the main hardware upgrades is the new Tetra Prism equipped telephoto lens that offers a X5 optical zoom. Impressive, sure, but how much does this really change your day-to-day -day photography? You say the iPhone 15 Pro Max already gives you a X3 optical zoom, unless you're a hardcore photography enthusiast who needs every bit of zoom. This difference might not be as groundbreaking as it seems. Now, I know what you're thinking. Should I even care about the iPhone 16 Pro at this point? Well, if you're someone who likes to have the latest and greatest tech just for the sake of it, then maybe. But if you're looking for value, this is where things get really juicy. Here's the deal. The iPhone 15 Pro is still an absolute beast. It's got the A17 Pro chipset, meaning it'll handle Apple's new AI features once they're available. And with the iPhone 16 Pro coming soon, prices on the 15 Pro are about to drop. Imagine getting nearly the same performance for a much lower price. That's smart shopping. But let's dig deeper. What's the real advantage of waiting for the iPhone 16 Pro? Sure, you'll get a slight battery upgrade and a marginally better camera zoom. But are these worth the premium price tag? For most people, probably not. Plus, with the iPhone 16 Pro's generative AI features still in their infancy, you might end up paying a premium for potential rather than actual performance. Now, let's consider the long game. The iPhone 17 is likely to bring significant hardware updates. Apple's generative AI will have matured by then, and any bugs or issues from the 16 Pro will be ironed out. This could make the iPhone 17 the true game changer, leaving the 16 Pro feeling more like a stopgap. So if you're looking to make a future-proof investment, holding out for the iPhone 17 might be the smartest move. Now, let's wrap this up with a thought. The tech world is all about timing. Sometimes the smartest move isn't to chase the latest release, but to strategically choose when to upgrade the iPhone 15 Pro with its powerful A17 Pro chip and soon to be accessible AI features might just be the sweet spot. And if you're willing to wait, the iPhone 17 could be the real revolution you're looking for. So before you pull out your wallet for the iPhone 16 Pro, ask yourself, do you want to pay a premium for potential or do you want to make a savvy investment in a device that's already proven itself? Sometimes, waiting just a bit longer can save you money and give you a better overall experience. Now, I want to hear from you. Are you team iPhone 15 Pro or are you all in on the iPhone 16 Pro hype? Drop a comment below with your thoughts 
And if you're thinking of waiting for the iPhone 17, let's talk about that too. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights like this. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and remember, the latest isn't always the greatest. Make smart choices, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.